Hi, I'm Kimberly, and I went through over a decade of severe chronic experiences, and I'm now sharing my story and uh, helping others find their path to healing. I Something I've been asked over and over is, have I always been in such a positive mindset, or have I, is it just always been easy for me to stay in this positivity that I share online and with clients, and I definitely was not. I was so, so angry for so long, and I actually had to teach myself to smile and laugh again. Like, I had to practice smiling in the mirror, and even the, like, act of laughing and bringing that up to the surface was almost like I forgot how to do it. I, I don't really know how to explain it, but I was so shut down for so long and I was in, you know, the the hardest part of my my journey. I was in a dark bedroom with noise canceling headphones on, wearing sunglasses, just trying to block out as much light as possible. Like every light, every sound was so painful. My body was in pain. 24 7 I wasn't sleeping at night or wasn't sleeping well excuse me and my my whole existence I felt like why am I even here why am I even still in this body if I can't even experience any of like life's joys and I was just super bitter I was having trouble understanding language most days it was um very very lonely very very isolating and um, I had to bring myself out of that. I had to, I had to like literally practice smiling in the mirror. I would stand in front of the mirror, even at like the depths of this. Like I was listening to things about brain retraining and bringing yourself out of these experiences and, you know, looking in the mirror and telling yourself, I love you. And, um, and it doesn't feel like it at first, like it often, it takes time for it to like have meaning to it. Um, you're, you're changing your, your vibration, like your, even the muscles in your face, like as you smile, um, they are used to being in a certain shape and actually in older people, you could notice this, that like they'll have rounder, more uplifted faces and people who have had like a, a harder life or they're in more sorrow have more of like the like gaunty like chin and like they're they're usually start to droop and stuff and I mean we all do that as we age but um but there's like a different quality to the face um when we are in a uh happy place that we are living in because our muscles like manifest into what our emotions are feeling and even into like the laughter and bringing that up into the the belly you know and and using those muscles to laugh but the the emotions that come along with that, the chemical emotions, the endorphins, um, our hormones, those are all um, either like turned on or turned off, you know, or kind of miscalibrated to things. And um, that can be a really big factor. So just practicing that, bringing the, the laughter in, bringing the air deep down into the belly and practicing smiling can really help. All right, I've switched locations, um, but what I was talking about was the emotions and smiling and bringing those endorphins back through the physical movement. So this is part of somatics and you can start to change your reality through what you're practicing physically. Sometimes the mind work of brain retraining and the thoughts can be really wearing and tiring and I definitely experienced that. Something you can do that's not so much up in the head and so much of changing the thoughts is actually physically changing your face, physically changing your body posturing. Um, and so actually just sitting up and um, putting your head like level, shoulders back, st uh, sp straight spine, taking a deep breath into the low belly. That alone will immediately change your chemistry and your um, brain will start to shift. So of course, if we're in like really deep patterns of our our body, you know, feeling really low and um, 
if we're used to being in like a crunched posture, if we're used to being in bed a lot, or if we're used to, you know, being like crunched on the couch or not keeping our spine straight, like all these things are going to take time for it to build. And trust me, it took so much time for me to build. Um, one of the things that I did was imagine I, I had trouble sitting up by myself without any support. So I pretty much didn't have enough core strength to um, sit up without leaning against something. Like I, I could sit for like a second and it was like really painful. My spine was always popping in and out of place so what I would do is I would visualize my spine as being like an I-beam and I would just and then when I started doing this I was sleeping with five pillows at night because my body was in so much pain and everything was popping out of place and my back my low back was just like it was just always hurting non-stop no matter what position I was in it felt like it was literally like disjointing um and I was gonna like lose like my spine was just gonna like fall out of place um and so I would imagine that I beam and I would do like little like practices to um, to straighten my spine lying down on the floor, um, straightening my spine sitting up against something and um, do some things to like help to try to strengthen my core while I was doing that. So sitting up wasn't an option, doing sit-ups wasn't an option, but what could be an option for me was doing some like little leg lifts um, and just like physically changing the structure of my body, bringing myself into postures that I knew would benefit me, um, that actually start to change the chemistry in your body. So being in a certain posture will change the way that your emotions and your thoughts go. So if we're forward neck position and we're like crunched over a lot that is actually going to start creating the chemistry in the body that is not going to benefit us uh, our nervous system goes into that sympathetic state that way we go into like when you see somebody if you see somebody like this and they're like crunched and they're down and they're you know you see that you know that something's wrong with that person you don't have to guess that something's wrong like if they're in the corner like with their arms around their knees or something like that you know the posture of being curled over like that you know that something is not something's wrong at the moment they're emotionally going through something but if you see somebody and they're standing with their back straight and they're looking like straight at you um shoulders are down and calm you know but spine is straight and they have a smile on your face like there's no guess it's even without the smile there's no guess to that there's a different energy there there's something else chemically happening there's different thoughts going through that person's mind somebody who is you know exuding confidence and they're they're showing themselves you know or they're they're uh, presenting themselves in a certain way um you know like instantly when you see somebody by their body posturing what is kind of internally going on and the more tuned in and tapped into some specific person you're going to be more acutely aware of this um or if it's like a really extreme version of one or the other it's going to be like if you see somebody presenting on stage and they just are really standing in their power and really you know carrying that energy they are um it's it's obvious you know or if you see somebody you know crunched over curled up in a corner you know that that's obvious too but there's every single thing in between that so we are somewhere on that spectrum all the time and we can start to harness that um, ability to change our chemistry and uh, our nervous system by just our body posturing so um, smiling bringing that smile in even if you're not feeling the chemical emotions yet even if you're not feeling the endorphins and the hormones changing it will start to happen like you have smiled before you have been in happier places it's amazing your body knows that programming it knows that when you start doing that again then it can go back there it just takes time especially if we've been out of that for a while or if we had a drastic shift you know from some some sort of trauma that like changed it out of it very quickly we know we can get back to there so it's just figuring out for us how exactly to do that so bringing the somatics in lifting the body up bringing the shoulders back bringing a deep deep breath down into the belly really feeling that up so you start to feel it in your pelvis because a lot of the times we have short breaths and that is in a sympathetic mode that is when the nervous system is in fight or flight when we have those shallow breaths if somebody is panicking or um you know going through a really stressful state they're gonna be like it's all chest high breathing. They're not bringing that breath down into the low abdomen. So 
bringing that breath down and practicing this daily daily again this is like stretching those muscles this is changing our physical body as we do this so you can use this with brain retraining you can use this by bringing even me doing that there i could feel a change in my system just with that a little example of the chest breathing but then we can switch it we can say okay i'm going to bring it down low into the belly Just doing that one breath will start to change your chemistry. And so if you do this for just a couple minutes a day, that's going to be a couple minutes a day that your body is in a different state, that you're bringing yourself into that parasympathetic, calm, healing state. And if you do that more and more, the body starts to learn it. So you don't have to start with a lot each day. I'm a big person says like okay do it for one even one minute a day but three to five minutes a day is something so even if you in the morning when you first wake up you look in the mirror and you take a deep belly breath that at least is a minute more each day than what you were doing before so there's a couple little tools that you can use that are you know essentially retraining your your brain and your nervous system but without the as much of the thought part of it um and more of bringing it into the physical so um you can start to change your entire attitude in your entire life by by doing small things and they build into bigger things if you're interested, excuse me, if you're interested in wellness coaching um you can reach out to me at kimbers.new.frequency on Instagram or you can go over to my website at kimberlyharder.com or my email will be linked down below. Uh, feel free to reach out. We can do a 30 minute consultation to see if coaching is a match for you or answer some of your questions and um, I will see you all in the next video. You're doing amazing. I know this is hard and it can be feel like it's never going to end. Uh, you are doing amazing work and you have all the power. Look at where I was at. Listen to that beginning of my story that I had here in this video and where I am now. You know, I became a whitewater raft guide and I'm doing all these awesome things in my life. So you have all the possibility to bring yourself back to a new state, actually, of where you want to be. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.